All right, bit of a shorter video today. Today we're going to be talking about what do the Royal Venom Shell in City of Threads, the Engorged Crawler in Arakara, and the Ashfane Invader in Siege of Browse have in common. And if you answered that they all have a poison, you're spot on. So the Ashen Invader applies a stinging venom on auto attacks. The Engorged Crawler, of course, shoots the venomous spit onto players. And the Venom Shell puts the venomous spray dot on all players. Now, common practice is to honestly just bring a Shaman and drop Poison Cleansing Totem for these. Alternatively, you could just use a Poison Dispel. Say you have an Evoker in your group. Or say you have a Druid in your group or something like that. You can just dispel off the Poison. But what happens whenever you don't have access to any of those? Well, there's a screenshot that's floating around for the high-end key community that's been going around. Where it's this item called this Red Cap Toadstool. And what this item reads is, use, remove one poison effect, lowers nature resistance by 16 for one minute, two minute cooldown. Now it does require honored with the Sporogar, which is some mushroom people in Zangar Marsh. Now the way you get and utilize these is you portal to Shatrath City, set the dungeon to heroic, and go into the heroic underbog. You kill everything and hit honored with the mushroom people, and you get... 100 glow cap off the auction house. So you end up buying these glow caps off the auction house. You'll you'll turn it into mushrooms with the Sporogar in Zengar Marsh, and you'll be able to get them, uh, turn them into red cap toadstools. This is really good for specific points of, honestly, Arakara, I think is a great one. Ashvane Invaders, if you get these to your tank, uh, or your tank has these rather, and they end up utilizing these, it's also great. For the Venom Shell, say you were able to only Poison Cleansing Totem the first one, because you don't have Totemic Recall or whatever reason, and then everybody uses the Mushroom on the, the second Poison, that's actually a huge deal. It's going to reduce the damage taken by a substantial amount. Now, the downside is that it's 2-minute cooldown, but this is kind of similar to what we saw from Nax Ramus in Dragon Flight Season 2, whenever uh, there was these immature Venom Sacks that were found in Lower Blackrock Spire, which was basically just cure poison, one poison effect. Now this does have a two minute cooldown and there is a downside that you get minus 16 nature resistance, but this is definitely something that you should be looking to do. If you were casually pugging keys, it doesn't take that long as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all that this video is going to be. It's just a PSA that you can do this as well. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.